Some places are still dealing with some flooding along the Souter River to our south, up north uh, from Marion, going into the northwestern part of Delaware County, uh, Prospect Leroux, those areas as you get up to Logan County. Uh, Hancock County apparently is not under its flood warning anymore, which is good to see. Blanchard River, they're always causing some problems in and around Findlay. Meanwhile, you've got uh, Coshocton County under a flood warning, Holmes as well, and of course, as we mentioned, Marion County. So those areas linger even though that rain is long gone. Live Doppler 10 radar went by fairly quickly, but there's a little light snow off to the north kind of drifting on through. Now it's trying to stretch down into parts of Marion County, maybe Delaware just a little bit and into uh, Morrow County. So you may get a couple little flurries. Otherwise, that's about it. Now we're looking for little gaps here in the clouds and there haven't been many, although you do notice it thinned out a little bit. But the thing is, that's now moved off to our east. So generally overcast as we go into the afternoon. So the temperature trend over the last six days, it was up, up, up going into the weekend. 69 and 68, both were record highs and the last few days. Ooh, all the way down to 29 degrees. Our average is right there at 38. So five out of the last six days, we've been well above it. Uh, don't look for that really. Maybe the weekend we should get back above the high side of average. Temperatures today, well, they're not budging much from start to finish. We're generally in the upper 20s this afternoon. As we get toward the evening, we may get a flurry or two. It's not very convincing. It's going to be rather chilly, though. Again, for Christmas Day, variably cloudy and cold with a high of about 29. Just a light northwest wind, but you know what? Seen far worse, and even though it's not super white out there, at least it's not inclement weather here for Christmas. So this part of the system moving off, a little more snow back to the north and west. That could affect us tonight and going into tomorrow. But the model, you know, keeps a lot of it to the north through 5 o'clock this afternoon and into the evening, and then it kind of dissipates a little bit. But here comes the round tomorrow morning. So could have a few flurries early in the day tomorrow. Not a big deal. About 14 to start the day. Then for tomorrow, we've got very cold conditions continuing. Uh, clouds and light snow showers moving off. It may even brighten up late in the day. Looking for a high temperature tomorrow back in the 30s, so at least making a little bit of progress. And then as we look toward the weekend, hey, we're in the 40s by Saturday. Sunday, it's not a big chance, but it's a little chance of a rain or snow shower, and that's because there's a weak little cold front moving in, a high of about 40 degrees. So it's still pretty mild, but then, man, does the bottom drop out as we go into the new year. 26 for Monday, 24 for Tuesday, morning lows in the teens. We could easily see some single-digit lows by the time we hit New Year's Day.